Hey tech fans, grab your gadgets because today we're diving into a digital deep dive. Ready? Let's plug in and play through the latest tech news like we're trying to beat the final boss in a retro video game. Hard mode engaged! First up, Elon Musk is shaking things up again, and no, I'm not talking about his Twitter threads. This time, he's amending lawsuits and pulling Microsoft into the fray with OpenAI. It's like adding an unexpected plot twist in a soap opera, but with less amnesia and more artificial intelligence. Speaking of new users flooding in, have you heard about Bluesky? They've had a million people sign up in a mere 24 hours. If this were a concert, it'd be like suddenly discovering a secret headliner that no one can stop talking about. Meanwhile, Hawk 2 Ah Girl is revolutionizing your love life with Pookie Tools, an AI-powered dating advice app. It claims it's fine, but let's be real. Can AI beat the old play it cool tactic? Jury's still out on that one. In other news, ChatGPT's latest trick is to read some of your Mac's desktop apps. That's right, your chatbot can now peek over your digital shoulder, but in a helpful way, promise. Apple is not sleeping on security either. They've introduced a feature that reboots iPhones after three days of inactivity. Bad news for procrastinators, but excellent for staying one step ahead of any pesky digital intruders. Francois Chalet, an AI whiz kid, waved bye-bye to Google. Where he's headed next, only the algorithms know. And what's Amazon's newest move? It's taking on the discount world with Amazon Hall, a store where everything's under $20. It's like finding a hidden treasure level, but for shopping. Serial entrepreneur Mark Lore is pushing the boundaries even further, letting AI decide his diet. Imagine a super app that not only judges your food choices, but also orders your meals. It's like having a personal nutritionist in your pocket, minus the disappointment when you reach for that midnight snack. Diving into the realm of AI advancements, Snapdragon is finessing its elite tech to make your phone not just faster, but smarter and more intuitive. Think of it as giving your smartphone a PhD in being awesome. Apple's not falling far from the innovation tree either, offering in-store AI experiences that allow you to play with the tech in short, bite-sized sessions. It's like a test drive, but for your next iPhone addiction. Stepping away from the silicone-centric news, did you know that a Harvard researcher is calling out the AI industry to address the content compensation problem? That's right, folks. It's not just about whiz-bang tech. Fairness in the age of creators is also on the ticket. Now let's talk about the content that blurs the line between human and AI generated. Can you tell the difference between a symphony composed by Beethoven and one by a silicon chip? The plot thickens as the tech world keeps us guessing what's real and what's robot. All right, before you think we've forgotten about Wall Street, here's a snippet stock quotes are zipping about like space invaders, with real-time indices making the financial fear and greed index look like a calm game of chess by comparison. Remember folks, invest in those extra lives. To wrap things up, let's not forget that Blue Sky is not just a weather report. It's raking in users as quickly as your aunt shares cat memes. Musk, our controversial tech hero, is accusing his own creation and a tech giant of monopoly play. And if you thought your bread couldn't get any smarter, fortifying it might just reduce neural tube defects. Before you rush off to chat with your AI dating coach or let an AI control your diet, remember, we're the place to get your latest tech info served up with a side of sass. So smash that like button if you love knowing more about your digital overlords, subscribe for that sweet, sweet content nectar, and click the bell icon so you won't miss our next tectacular episode. And hey, if you end up arguing with your smart fridge about your midnight snack choices, remember, you heard about the super app here first. Keep it techie, my friends. And until next time, keep rebooting your phones and your perspectives.